Goats can swim in a pool. They do not have a natural affinity towards water but they are indeed very good swimmers and they enjoy being in the water. As with any livestock, when introducing them to a pool there is always a possibility that they will fall in and drown so it's important that farmers introduce their farm animals to the pool slowly and with care. Goats will find it easier to adapt if they are made to feel safe and secure when in a pool. This means that the owner needs to remove all the potentially dangerous animals from the water including rats, snakes, or anything else that might scare them. Part of making a goat feel comfortable is having some form of shade where they can escape from the sun and to this end providing a raised area or small island in the pool is an ideal way of giving them shelter. If there are obstacles in the pool, such as rocks and underwater ledges, these can be especially important when it comes to making goats feel safe. If goats can touch the bottom with their feet, then they will feel stable, but it's important they don't have to walk far in deep water because this could make them feel insecure. How fast can goats swim? There are some very fast goats, such as the speed goat who ran the 100 meters in just under 9 seconds. That's about 37 miles per hour. So, it definitely can swim if it has to. Goats are good swimmers when they have to be, but few really enjoy it. The key is that they are light enough to keep afloat even when tired. They will normally wade rather than swim if they can help it and spend most of their time on dry land, but in situations where the water is deep or strong enough to carry them off their feet, they are capable swimmers. Can fainting goats swim? Yes, but it's not recommended. Fainting goats are a genetic anomaly known as myotonia congenita. Myotonia congenita is characterized by muscle hypertonia, overly tight muscles, and a high pain threshold. This condition can be very useful for farmers who need to handle the goat without hurting it by lifting or carrying the goat because the myotonic goat will be temporarily paralyzed by the activity. When one of these goats feels threatened, it will freeze in place until the threat is gone. This can become dangerous for a fainting goat in deep water or even shallow water because they will become completely submerged and unable to remove themselves from the situation. Can Nigerian goats swim? Nigerian goats are able to swim across rivers, if necessary. The animals have even learned to hold their breath underwater for several minutes. A Nigerian goat named Hope recently surprised observers when she survived a 30-minute stay underwater on Nigeria's Yosh Plateau without any visible sign of stress or fatigue after being pulled out of the Ol Yosh River by her owner. Unfortunately, Nigerian goats cannot survive in the African jungle because of its lush vegetation. However, this could change if they are raised by humans who regularly clear their surrounding area from trees and other plants. But even without human help, the goat will be able to survive in certain areas, for example in a South American rainforest that is sparsely populated by humans. Can boar goats swim? Yes, actually they love it. They will play in the water all day long. Boars are well known for swimming across large rivers to escape from their predators or because they have found something yummy on the other side. If you have a small pool at home, your boar goats might just decide to spend their hot summer days in it. They are good swimmers, after all. But be careful, boar goats are also clumsy. They could accidentally knock over a child or an elderly person who is trying to get in the pool with them. Swimming with boars might not be safe for very young children or frail people. Boar goat kids begin swimming almost as soon as they begin walking. They are absolutely crazy about water. As far as wild animals go, boars tend to be fairly calm and docile, but they will panic if they start to sink in deep water. They don't have a lot of body fat, so they can't stay afloat for very long before they start to get tired. They will thrash around in a panic, which can be very dangerous for the people who are trying to rescue them.